G'day folks. Well, I figured before I go in, I might as well put the power supply and the hard drive in the case. That way they're not just floating around ready to get damaged. This is a pretty neat looking power supply. It's a lot better than the ones I've had in the past. I've never had this one, one this fancy before. And this is the cheaper model. <laughs> there are some uh, much more expensive Corsair supplies, but this one looks really good. And I didn't look at any uh, reviews or anything on them, but... I don't know, it's a nice looking 700 watt power supply. From what I can see inside, the capacitors are mostly Nippon Chemicon. There are a few green ones in there, which I'm not really sure. Might be Samwas. But overall, we'll give it a run. For 100 bucks or thereabouts, can't really go wrong. I've paid more for worse power supplies. But yeah, that's a GS700. Multicolor. Uh, LED fan, there's a button on the back there which you can push to change the colour. It's going to be blue because that's what the case is. Uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Maybe blue on red, if I can get some more red backlighting with the blue. Yeah, that'd be good. But yeah, it's got all the right power supply connectors on it. The uh, 6 plus 2 for the uh, PCIe card. Yeah, very nice, very neat. Okay, new case. It's probably the second time in my life I've actually bought a new case. Most of the time they're just hand-me-downs or scrap finds. <laughs> but yeah, I thought I'd get something half decent. It's a uh, Lian Lee Land Cool First Night series. At first I thought it was the Dragon Lord that I got, but apparently that was the more expensive one, I think. Um, yeah. All I know is it was really early in the morning, I was lying in bed just surfing the web and I thought I'd find a case that fits my graphics card. And next thing you know I spent $400. <laughs> oh, you gotta love web, so web shopping. But yeah, it's got the lot. Yeah, yeah Lian Li Industry Taiwan not Chinese or like generic stuff it's actually pretty good and as we'll see when I open it up it's mostly toolless it's all quick lock stuff it's not too bad I will once it's all working properly I'll uh, end up going with uh, water cooling external of course, I'll have an external pump and reservoir and everything, I won't build it into the case but this is a power supply or mainboard over power supply design so I'll uh, install the water cooling yeah I'll make a little external thing with some hoses even if I have to buy my own like normal heater hose it's pretty cheap it's about 495 a meter or something for a proper rubber coolant hose I think, yeah, premium heater hose. So, I know the transparent ones look cool, but I'm pretty sure you can also use normal rubber hosing. Depends on what coolant you're running, I guess. Same with water blocks. I can make my own water blocks easy enough. I've got access to milling machines and copper tubing and other stuff. I can make my own pretty much anything. It's not going to be too hard. Alright, it's a pretty nice case. I mean, short of anything industrial, it's probably the best case I've had in a while. <laughs> well, when I say industrial, I mean like the IBM Think Centers and stuff that I've had. Uh, heavy duty commercial IBM stuff's always pretty tough cases and robust componentry, but for a sort of an off the shelf gamer's case, pretty damn nice. It's got a nice solid feel to it. Material thickness is much better than the equivalent like 70 80 dollar cases i mean for 105 dollars or whatever this was i ain't gonna complain i actually think it might have been a little bit more it might have been 130. there were a few dirtier cheaper ones but they just lack the features and things and the fanage all right we got one there two in the front they all glow blue and there's two up there as well just in case it's like a damn air conditioning unit, condensing unit. <laughs> That's pretty damn cool. I mean, the last time I was overclocking computers, I had my old Athlon 
Athlon 1800 XP and I was pushing that up to about 2200 uh, ran fine, pretty good but it's just running stock cooler, basic dirty cheap case which I think I still have somewhere and yeah never really got an ex much extra performance, at least not noticeable back then I mean when I first built my computer I mean after the 386's and things that I found and picked up for virtually nothing I found a main board in the scrap bin at the uh, local computer shop you know, I can't remember what it was, it might have been a uh, not a midway, um, jetway, I think it was a jetway board or something really cheap like that and it was a Pentium 75 up to two, up to 166 sorry 233, it went from Pentium 75 to 233 and I overclocked every chip I could find to get into that, starting with a 75 up to 90 found a 100 megahertz Pentium, pushed that up to 120 and you'd notice the difference but nowadays I'm not really fussed about overclocking I might try it with the graphics card, apparently you can push them beyond 1 gigahertz the 5970s but these are quick release things are nice it's a nice little touch fairly solidly built lot better than messing around with screws <laughs> and yes it's power supply under the main board so got plenty of room for coolers and things we've got all these big fans to pull heat out I might just stick with air cooling for the time being and then look at water cooling later water cooling would certainly improve stability but I've got to get a water block for the uh, 5970 okay well power supply fits nicely but I'm not too sold on the uh, quick release clamp though it is easily removable, you just unhook it and pull it out and since there's provisions for screws in the back I think I'll be going with that one now uh, the fan's going to be drawing air through there, there's, there are slats in the bottom of it but I'd say it's sort of mediocre at best considering there's nowhere else for air to get in here apart from well that's it, that's the only way for air to get through that power supply by the looks of it those aren't slats and yeah no nah. the only place we're to get in is through there and I don't feel particularly good about putting it upside down so it looks better that way anyway because the riding's the right way up so probably not the most ideal power supply for a case like this it probably is designed to go up high but even then oh, I suppose that it does <laughs> They stuck the label on the other way around so if I do have it mounted that way it doesn't matter but I don't know it's been ages since I messed around with computers I'm used to cases with the power supply up the top it does sit in there very nicely though I'll use it use it like that especially since you can see the fan <laughs> not much point in getting one of the LED lighting if you can't see the damn thing but yeah probably won't end up overclocking anything at, at the moment uh, yeah, one of my good subscribers offered me a uh, Phenom 2 40 or oh, quad core. He didn't say what speed it was, but it's quad core plus RAM and CPU and everything, main board. So, assuming that arrives intact or arrives at all, depending on what the post office decides to do with it without dropping anything on top of it or whatever, you know, I'll run that. Um, if it doesn't survive or doesn't arrive, well, I don't mind going out and buying a nice Core i7, 16 gig RAM, and a decent gigabyte mainboard, I guess. Maybe an ASUS mainboard. Get one of the nice ones with the black silk screening over it. There's some really snazzy looking mainboards out there. ASUS and uh, Gigabyte probably be my top choice. And then maybe, yeah, I would overclock it. But a dec decent Core i7 would be nice. I'm prepared to go out and buy new hardware anyway. But since I've got people offering me some good second-hand stuff, I'll give that the good go first. If it doesn't work out or it doesn't arrive intact, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just uh, go out and buy a decent Core i7 or something. Okay, this is the main thing I'm interested in. Will it fit? Look at that. <laughs> it 
it's just a little bit too long to keep those other drive bays in there but I don't even need them I probably won't run more than a couple of hard drives in this and there's space on top for a 2.5 inch drive anyway so very good the beast fits someone suggested redoing the heatsink compound on this too which I will probably do uh, before I go for water cooling anyway uh, this was given to me simply because it was failing under load like it worked fine when it was cool it was fine but running COD 4 it would just crash every now and then and start just going into overheat mode so just obviously that one fan and it's massive cooler isn't enough the next model up the 7970 has three big fans special anti-turbulence heat sink design and everything like they knew they were in trouble when they had these so yeah it still works fine it just needs saving before it actually dies because that'll be the worst thing let it get cooked solder joints and things so I'll run it for a little while make sure everything works with air cooling and then more than likely definitely go for a water cooling it's even got little glands in the back of it to run the hoses through yeah this, this thing's going to be a beast with a lot of fun we had to do a Saints Row 3 co-op with Brad and everyone. I don't do a lot of online play, but a good co-op game's always fun. Got to get everything set up, though. Need a good microphone, too. Maybe a Samson microphone or something like that. Decent headphones, which I do already have. They're nice old ones, but they're a yeah, good old set of headphones. But I'd like a decent standalone microphone. More than likely a Samson, I can't remember the exact model, but a lot of the uh, game commentators on YouTube use them. I know Jesse Cox has one, I know Total Halibut, Total Biscuit has one. Um, yeah, they're a really good microphone, entry level. I think TB's microphone's a bit better, but they're a good entry level microphone. Uh, Samson, uh, what model is it? Don't know, it's about 100 bucks, I think. But it's a nice, proper mic sit it on the bench on a stand and you get really nice quality out of it <coughs> so yeah that'll probably be next not that I want to spend all that much time gaming I'm usually out here the most for the most part I often can't be bothered gaming but yeah when I do play games I want to be able to play it properly I don't want to have dropping frame rate and other garbage which I'm going through now with the old uh, Athlon X2 that board just can't handle the card I've got in it. The GTS 250 is a pretty damn good card, but the PC itself can't handle it. So it's it's just dropping frame rate something fierce, especially in, uh, well, Saints Row the Third for one. Uh, just Cause 2. Yeah, Just Cause 2 and Saints Row the Third seem to be the biggest offenders at the moment, but yeah. Anyway, that's enough of that one. I'll, uh, close this case up, I'll put the hard drive in, close the case up, put it back in the box and uh, when I get a decent board we'll finish it off. Thanks for watching.